A very common trick to make your footage much more interesting is speed ramping. In other words, accelerating or decelerating the motion during a clip. In this video I will show you how to easily speed ramp inside a clip, starting from footage shot at different frame rates. I will show you how to do it in Premiere Pro and in DaVinci Resolve. But the technique is very similar in most other video editors. I have received several requests for a video about speed ramping after my video about slow motion. Please refer to this video for detailed explanations on how to use higher frame rates and how to interpret them in the timeline. I will post a link at the end of this video and in the description below. Let's start with this clip of two salsa dancers in Brighton, in England. This shot was taken with a Phantom 4 Pro at 4K and 60 frames per second. I always encode at 24 frames per second, which is actually 23.976. So my timeline is set at this frame rate. Therefore the footage will be slowed down by a factor of 2.5. Let's say that we want the footage to start in slow motion and then go to real-time speed at a specific point. Let's go through the clip to find the point where we want it to accelerate. Let's say we choose this point where he points his foot on the ground before starting the last final spin. First of all, let's increase the height of the video track in the timeline by dragging up this line. Then we right-click on the little square in the clip icon and choose Time Remapping speed. We now have this horizontal line representing the speed of the clip in percentage. We leave it at 100% for the moment. We position the playhead where we want the change in speed to happen. From this menu we choose the pen tool or we hit P and we click on the horizontal line where the playhead is to insert a point. Then we go back to the selection tool from the menu or by the shortcut V. By inserting a point we have split the horizontal line into two segments and we can move them independently to increase or decrease speed. Since we want the speed to go back to normal towards the end, we will act on the second segment. We drag it up and you can see that the increase in speed is displayed in percentage. We bring it up to 250% to restore the speed of the track as 60 is 2.5 times 24. We can see that the clip is playing in slow motion up until the point we have chosen and then goes to normal speed. But the change of speed is uh, just a bit too abrupt. And we can make it smoother by dragging these two blue small uh, wing-shaped icons. We don't need to move them very much, as in this case the change in speed is relatively subtle. As you can see now the transition is nice and smooth. An even more effective way to add interest to a clip is to start at regular speed and then slow down at the climax of the scene. Let's say in this clip we want to start a regular speed and slow down at this moment when the hands of the two dancers touch. So once again we bring the playhead to this point in the timeline, we select the pen tool, click on the horizontal line at the playhead to set another point, thus creating a new segment. Now we can raise the segment up to 250%, therefore at normal speed. We can adjust slightly the two blue icons to smoothen the transition. Notice that after we erase the segment, the length of the clip is modified, as the increase of speed obviously affects the duration of the clip. And this is the result. We start in normal speed, then slow down to underline a portion of the scene, to resume the action at full speed later on. Speed ramping is also used a lot with footage shot in normal frame rate and therefore at normal speed. 
This clip was shot during the Etna Marathon, a mountain bike competition in Sicily. It was shot with a DJI R2S at 24 frames per second, therefore it normally plays at real-time speed, in my timeline. Two cyclists enter the scene, go down a small hill and then start climbing. Let's say we want to start at a regular speed, then accelerate and finally go back to normal speed. So we do exactly what we did in the previous clip. We choose time remapping, with the pen tool we create two points and we increase the height of the segment in the middle, let's say to 200%. Let's see the result. Of course we can fine tune it. Probably it would be more fun to get a faster speed, so we move the central segment to 300%. Better now, but let's start the speed ramp when the first cyclist is behind the tree and then go back to normal while he is still climbing the hill. So we bring the playhead to the point when he is behind the tree and drag the blue arrows accordingly. Now we move to this point where he is still climbing and move the arrows. And this is the result. This clip of waves crashing on lava rocks was taken with an R2S in slow motion mode at 120 frames per second, at a resolution of 1080p. It is therefore 5 times slower than normal. With extreme slow motion, the most interesting effect is often obtained when starting at normal speed and after a while moving into slow, which will look almost like a freeze frame. So we insert a point with the pen tool where we want to slow the footage down, not too far from the end of the clip, and we raise the segment to the left to 500%, as the frame rate of 120 frames per second is 5 times slower than our timeline of 24. The clip will become much shorter because of the big increase in speed, but we can adjust it later by moving the blue arrows. As you can see, the effect is very interesting. Let's now have a quick look at how speed ramping works on DaVinci Resolve for viewers who use this program. Let's go back to the clip of the two dancers we used before. We want to achieve the same effect as before. We accelerate the first part, then go to slow motion, and then we accelerate again. In the edit panel, we right click on the icon of the clip and choose Retime Controls. The icon of the clip has now several options for retiming. We bring the playhead to the point where we want the change of speed to happen. We click on the menu at the bottom of the icon showing 100% for speed and we choose Add Speed Point. A vertical bar appears at the playhead point and the film strip is now split into two parts. We can now go to the menu at the bottom on the left part and choose Change Speed. There are some preset values for accelerating or slowing down. We choose 200% and now only the left segment is affected by the change of speed. The clip is now faster at the beginning and then it slows down after the playhead. But the increase in speed we need is 250%. One way to fine tune the speed is by using the two buttons on the vertical marker. If we click and drag the top part of the marker to the left, the percentage of speed change increases. The opposite if we drag it to the right. So we can move it until we achieve the desired 250%. We can then reposition the marker at the desired point by dragging it with a button at the lower end of the marker, which leaves the speed unchanged. Now we set a new point where we want the footage to go back to normal speed after the slowdown. 
we take the speed to 200%. And now in order to adjust the speed to the desired 250%, we can set an extra point close to the right edge of the clip. We move the top bottom of the handle to the left until we reach 250%. And finally, with the lower part, we can drag it to the very end. Click on this link to watch my video about frame rates and slow motion, where you find a more in-depth analysis of the topic treated here. Don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. It really helps the channel. See you soon.